Now, answer the question of if someone sees problem with the pastor, uh, what can he do? Now, the basis for church members to handle a pastor's problem is from the scripture too. Because the Bible does talk about discern real prophets and false prophets. And then from the fruit, you can tell whether a prophet is from God or not from God. And then you have the extreme of a false prophet and a real prophet. But in, in between, there are not so good prophets. There are pastors who are not so good. According to the scripture, all Christians have the right to discern the pastors, the leaders, and other church members whether the life is following God or not. But we have to discern whether it has to do with spiritual life or style. We because some people just have a style of maybe being slow or uh, more relaxed. Or how he handles people. Now, but how he handles people sometimes involves sin. For instance, if we handle people who hurts people, that is sinning. But if his style is, you know, that he might, some people are more direct, some people are more gentle, and some people, uh, you know, they just different ways to help people it's the same with marriage, you know, you marry someone, the person has different styles. After you choose a wife or husband of a, you know, a very relaxed person, you can ask the person, now after we get married, you have to be, you know, more forward, uh, more active. If we want someone to be more active, then in the first place we should choose someone like that. The same with the pastor too. You know, in the first place we want a pastor of a certain style, then we should not go to a, a pastor of different style at the beginning. Now, when it comes to teaching, false teaching, you know, or correct teaching, then uh, the members have the right to approach. Now, 
According to Matthew 18, the first approach is always to confront the pastor personally. But instead of saying, you're wrong, we can ask you know, questions like, you know, yesterday we talked about exploring. What do you think about a certain teaching? Or how, you handle, or how you handle a certain person? Now, if the pastor doesn't listen, now I want to say also there are major problems and minor problems. Now there are sometimes minor doctrinal questions. Now for myself, I believe that there is only one truth. But it, as a matter of fact, many different churches have different views of different theology, doctrines. Now, for myself, I have a certain view because from the scripture, I can see that the Bible does say clearly. Now, of course, there are things I'm not sure because the Bible has not said clearly. Because the Bible hasn't described heaven very, very clearly. Those are things we cannot be very sure. But on many teachings, the Bible does have clear uh, uh, teaching. But at the same time, different churches have different views. And I believe that God will one day show to these people, you know, this from the Bible, this is the truth and you have not followed it totally. Now, but when on earth there are different views, now I agree there is one view, but on earth there are different views. I will not confront a pastor about his view if there has been different views in the tradition, you know, uh, I mean doctrinal, churches that are, are correct doctrinally, basically. But if it's something serious, and also how he handles people and handles the church, there is some serious problem or sins. Then for the sake of the love for the church, we should first confront the pastor in a gentle way. If he doesn't listen, then the Matthew 18 instruction is, get some more people to talk with him, two or three. And the next step, next step would be get, you know, the administrative body, uh, the deacons, you know, the elders of the church to, to discuss this and handle it. But we should be very careful whether this is a matter of personal viewpoint or is this something objectively uh, has problem. Now one time somebody asked me, his pastor has committed adultery. And I said, then you have to approach the pastor and talk about it. But he said the pastor doesn't listen and actually gets some people to, to beat him up. 
I said in that case that he's not a Christian pastor. He is leading a church, but he's not following Jesus' way. And if he or the leaders don't listen, then leave the church. When it's something so clearly wrong.